bro hi so my name is vishal and today i'm going to be talking about a rather intriguing topic and by the end of the talk this is a pretty high probability that people are going to be going home with a cluster of contradictions and more of philosophy and ethics rather than biological facts speaking of biological facts were you aware that the two component organs the brain consists of 100 billion neurons and the heart 37.2 trillion cells in it but today we are not here to discuss about science so if there is any science teacher in this room and sorry guys is going to be a philosophy class today so this is going to be a battle between your heart and your brain so speaking of your heart saying stack talk to solve the story i'm going to start the story there was this six year old kid and like any other kid obviously into his fantasies and dream he would dress up as spider man but he didn't go to a fantasy party or any sort of costume party after wearing that dress what he did was after wearing that spider man dress he would run around in circles in his society added to which was the fact that his father was chasing chasing him so that 6 year old kid after 10 years is here giving the talk and the question is would i still do the same thing now the answer is yes because my happiness and what my family means to me is more than the social stereotypical judgments of the society right but that gives rise to such a big question and the question is how can your mind and your heart be in alliance because they are two different organs they have their own psychology they think different things so i'm going to speak about the brain first you see your brain there has about 100 billion neurons in it those are 100 billion cells and whenever we making a choice when you said it is based upon your facts what is right what is wrong and sometimes in situations it is what makes us go through because when we are deciding our careers and when we are choosing who our friend is if we follow a heart direction if we do as we feel we might end up on the wrong track but the brain sometimes it's the harsh reality what we have to face and that is the wisdom of the brain because you see brain is just an organ but today i'm going to be talking about the mind you see mind is more than brain it's all the collective organization of your sensory organ your sensory receptors and the brain and then your peripheral nervous system all of that it is this one whole thing based on facts your intelligence portion so that is what the brain is and so i'm going to give you a situation and in this situation what you have to do basically there is a left there is a dead end and your car is going on a speed of 60 km per hour you stop the car just before reaching the dead end now if you were to think from your brain you would obviously return back because you are going to proceed the dead end with that but maybe maybe if you to follow your true nature because now when we speak about the wisdom of the heart you might try to jump maybe see maybe it is not a dead end maybe there is something beyond the dead end the strife the emotion the sentiment because heart it is but a cluster of emotions it does as it feels so the question always arises should i listen to my brain or should i listen to my heart it's as if you have two parents in your body one tells you to do this the other tells you to do that i mean it's so possible right because when it comes to for example choosing a career a spins we are like should i go for something that will help me gain money and I mean, half of the country is underemployed. Should I be a surgeon or lawyer, or should I try to be an artist? Because it is a passion that I turn into a hobby and I love for. That is the wisdom of the heart. Both so contradictory that the person is in a turmoil. And today, that is the turmoil I am going to talk about. How do you, two instruments created by God Himself, to make for the perfect functioning of a human being? how are you supposed to keep them not in contradiction but in alliance the answer my friend is your soul because at the end of the day we are all talking about intelligence quotient we are giving such hard complicated papers we are memorizing stuff but do we ever focus on emotional quotient so let me give you very basic psychological examples in case there is any psychology students here what happens to us is when we get angry biologically speaking 
the way our body function blood rushes to our hands so as we get angry the blood rushes to our hands and indirectly we pick up an object and that is why we end up hitting someone so that is why when you are angry you end up hitting someone that is the biological connection but is it anger and emotion what does brain have to do with it so this is where the answer comes in the next slide please the answer is if you want to solve this problem you have to ask you, yourself one thing are you going to go through life or are you going to live through life because sometimes there are certain situations in life which you are not supposed to enjoy you are supposed to go through them for example for some children and SSK lesson not for me but and there are certain things which you are supposed to live for for example what do you actually want to do because if you are going to choose a mediocre job on the basis of your brain because if it's a death job rather than serving a nation on the borders that is what your brain would do it is the safe choice and right choice so how should you align them because these are two essential organs of your body the brain and the heart and even biology till date today has not functioned properly or thought about it that how do our thoughts occur and how do emotions arise there 5.5 billion are spent on the research of neuron based research like the psychology and everything based on the brain and yet we haven't found a cure for parkinsons a very basic disease it is because we are researching on moles and animals such as rats a rat does not have a sophisticated brain as sophisticated of a human being this is what you have to do is ask yourself this question because at the end of the day you have to fall sometimes to know the value of rising and how you want to rise because once you rise you will know you want to listen to your heart to your mind hope i didn't bore you this is the end of the talk thank you very much